I'm Pastor George Borkhardt, and this is another Higher Things video short. Confession and absolution is in the scriptures. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. The greatest misconception in American Lutheranism and Christianity today is that confession and absolution isn't in the scriptures, that this is some sort of Roman Catholic construct or ritual that, that we don't need, that we just sort of, we could just go to Jesus and get absolution and forgiveness and we have no need for a pastor conf to confess to. Now, it is true that you can go straight to Jesus and you have no need of a pastor to confess to, but if you are really troubled by your sins, if you are really greatly distressed about what you've done or what you haven't done in your past or in your present or what you're struggling with, and you need that extra bump of forgiveness, then your pastor is the mouthpiece of Christ himself for that forgiveness. Where does this come from? John 20 and Matthew 16. John 20, Jesus breathed on his disciples after the resurrection and said, receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the city sins of any, they are retained. And Matthew 16 says the same thing, only to Peter, I give you the keys to heaven and earth. What do you bind on earth is bound in heaven. What do you loose on earth is loosed in heaven. So here we are with a Jesus who allows us to pray to him for forgiveness for our sins and also gives us our pastors to forgive our sins. But I don't need a man to forgive my sins. Yes, you do. You need the God-man, Jesus, on the cross dying for your sins. And he thinks that you need it for a little extra if you feel like you're troubled by your stuff, your pastor to hear your confession and to pronounce forgiveness. Is this Lutheran? Well, of course it's Lutheran. It's in the confession. It's in the five chief parts of the confession, of, of the catechism. What is confession? Confession and absolution has um, has two parts. First, that we confess our sins, and second, that we receive absolution. That is the forgiveness from the pastor, as from God himself, not doubting, but firmly believing that by it, our sins are forgiven before God in heaven. The office of the keys is that peculiar church power which Christ has given to his church on earth to forgive the sins of repentant sinners and to retain the, sin, rep, uh, the sins of unrepentant as long as they do not repent. How do I know this? John 20. What should I believe according to these words? I should believe that call ministers of Christ deal with us. But when they deal with us by their by God's divine command, that is when they when they forgive the sins of repentant sinners and retain the sins of the unrepentant as long as they do not repent, this is just as valid and certain even in heaven as if Christ our dear Lord has dealt with us himself. So, Luther says that when I ask you to confess your sins, I'm asking you to be a Christian. I'm not doing nothing more than asking you to be a Christian. The very voice of the gospel is the forgiveness of sins. I forgive you all your sins. So now that we've dealt with it, now that we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that not only is this thing Christian, uh, that it's in the scriptures, that it's also Lutheran, um, now we can beat the door down of our pastor and say, I've got sins and you've got forgiveness. But we're going to talk about that tomorrow and it's the major problems with confession and absolution in American Lutheranism today. But today... John 20, Matthew 16, that's the proof text. Go to the scriptures. If you don't believe me, confession and absolution is in there. It's in the small catechism too. I'm Pastor George Borgarda. This has been another Higher Things video short.